one one two two four boys in the building you know the vibes we the hottest in the city, no one's f***ing with me We the trending topics, we the ones coming up You ain't making noise like we been making noise But one, two, two, four boys and we the ones coming up You ain't bothered by the f***ers, claim they got it No way that we stopping, we the ones coming up Kicking down the doors, want everything The more the hottest in the city, we the ones Let's coming up Let's get straight to it, it's the new movement Drewski in the building One, one, two, two, four boys yes, sir, D Chambers yes, is here, TOG yeah, Killer yeah. Who else we got in the building? It's the boy Banger, TOG Banger Alright, first we gonna break down One, one, two, two, four boys what is it? Where did, where did it start from? What's going on? Because they had me out in Coney Island the other day in the strip club. Yeah. They was going crazy. You, you was with us a couple of times. You was with us at the uh, couple of network events, the hottest in the city. Yeah, of course. No, I know that. I'm just saying most it's recently. There's a lot of showcases that do what they do, but it's not like what we do. Trap is only. You know what I'm most recently, though, it was snowing. It was raining. It was nasty out. Blizzard they were still in the strip club. Shout to Foxy. Shout to um, Staten Island and Jimmy. Staten Island Jimmy. It was going crazy yeah. in there. But you so. know what's crazy? 11224 boys, I guess, I'll be honest with you, I would give so much credit to these seeing people that you see here. Okay. Because it starts with unity. You know what I mean? For 11224 is actually our zip code in Coney Island. Got it. And shout out to Cootie. You know, Cootie Love, he's here. Shout out to Merrick He's here. Shout out to Low Key. He's here. You know. you know what I mean? And um, and we all, you know, he created this bond, so we need to have this conversation because Killer been putting the work in and not right. let him talk for itself. You know? Right, right, right. We going crazy, son. Like, I got the studio in the hood. Okay. Me? Shooting the videos, going, doing everything. So it was a bunch of us already going crazy. These chambers been putting in pain for years. Yeah, I was going to say, the last time you fast. came up here, you was bigging up a lot of the artists from Coney Island. Right. And, and they're here. Yeah, you brought you said you said a couple names. Right. And now they're here. And now they're here. But how how long have you been actually doing music? Probably like seriously, probably like three, four years. But I've been mm -hmm. rapping for years. You know what I'm saying? Right. Always, always been doing it. Just wasn't taking it yeah, serious. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't putting it on wax. Wasn't doing none of that shit. I was behind the boards. Mm. You know what I mean? So it was like now we got foot on gas. Because so we, we was in the club the other day and we was talking. Right. And you was like, we were talking just about Coney Island. You was right, like, yeah, right. you know, you you bigged up these chambers. And you said, but this is like a new wave. Yeah, the new a, Coney a, a new a new energy yeah, coming yeah, to Coney right, Island. Right, that's definitely. It's crazy because he's putting the path out for the youth. Right. Back in the day, the older people didn't speak put on it. The, speak on it because that's what we was path. talking about. They didn't put the path out for the youth. Mm -hmm. You know I me? Mean? They had to go against their older ones. You know what right, I'm right. saying? So it's they like, ain't show no love. They ain't show no love for <laughs> like us. The so song. Like, right. For them, at least, uh, now that he's changing the, that means changing the course. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? So that shit is fire. That we going crazy. So Chambers, you can speak on it. I mean, I'll be I'll honest with you. It took it took years because we come, like I told you, we come from a, com a very competitive neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It could right. go either way. It could go successful. Or you could just go to the casket. It's it's, it's one or the other. Right. But after this interview, I could say the same shape up you. She came from my man America, Mike. He's an artist as well. You know, he get crazy. Throw this six, right. and we had it. We was like, yo, what if we just you know do something that gets all of us on one song? And this interview created that. Every name I, I shouted out, and we did the No Love song, and then we went to his to Killer Crib. We recorded it. Everybody mm. popped out, and everybody just instantly gravitated to it but it still wasn't 11224 because you know they got TOG right you know what I'm saying I'm WMMG we all just come from different necks of the woods but we repped the whole Coney Island without saying Coney Island you could say 11224 boys or 11224 no it mm -hmm. doesn't matter you could if you live there if you in that zip code you on Mermaid Neptune and Surf you, you 11224 and, and that's what we repping because we got to push new energy because it's not that much uh people that's willing to support it's the me 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 program <laughs> and, and now we're breaking it Facts. and we're breaking it and now you're going to see more people working with each other you know what i mean and you know we're not going to make it undeniable shout out to nims i always give credit to right right because you know it opened the doors for something that's already been had the light on like underground smack url shout out to smack you know i'm from coney Island. you know what we're doing mm. nobody really we didn't have a fair shot in music but now we do for the last three, four years, I brought, look, I brought Uncle Murder to the hood, right? Met the man to the mm -hmm. hood, uh, Benny the Butcher. you like, it's endless of artists, but it took something like Bing Bong to make y'all want to come out there. Right. But, mm -hmm. he, but he said it, we was with um, Nims yesterday, he said, unfortunately, it took a viral video, right? right, right. Not even his music. Right, it took right. the video on TikTok or whatever to, to put him on. 
And people don't even know that he's a rapper. Some people still don't even know. He's just that raw Coney Island energy. Right. But it put, regular, it put light on Coney Island. Do you agree? Right. A hundred percent. But you know what definitely. it is? We was more known for, for basketball. That's we had right. uh, the most uh, successful amount of be- basketball players that come out of any borough. I don't care what nobody's mm-hmm. saying. And they all got names. Look, Lance is back. You know what I mean? Sebastian Telfair. Yeah. Marbury has a whole museum mm-hmm. in China. What are we talking about? Like, so, you know? so I guess this next question is for the, these two. Knowing that, right, how he said, yo, we only know him for basketball players, right? And not There's not too many super A-list successful artists from Coney Island. Right. Did that ever, like, sit in the back of your mind, like, yo, should we do this? Because we don't even get the looks that we need. Did you ever question it? Or you always felt like, I'm going to be the one to put on for Coney Island. Definitely, definitely always wanted to be the one to put on for Coney Island. Whether it was mm-hmm. now or the youth, like like he said, it was either them or us. So right, right. I feel like right now with all of us getting together with, within the age groups and everything, from 18 to 35 or whatever, however it goes, we got all the age groups with us. Right. So it's like right now, it's a force to be reckoned Coney with. Coney Island mm-hmm. was never like that. It never. never, it's always black shit. First of all, he when from, you say like that, like united, like yeah, people yeah, working yeah, together. From thirty fifth, right? Thirty six. Thirty six. That's black, down same. the way. We're right. from twenty third. Mm-hmm. Unheard day, of. Back in the day, we couldn't. I was a young never. dude. So I in Coney Island, that's like two different hoods. Like yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's really, 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 it's really, 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 really go down really there. This really is all new. This is right. all new. It was red down there, and it was blue down there. Right, right. I mean, like that. And it, but but you realize. Yeah, that shit ain't really working out when when you separate one rap. another. It's bigger than rap because there's no mainstream Coney Island artist right now. Mm-hmm. And that's what we need to get on. Mainstream and, and, Coney Island. And we we think DJs like you right. who Facts. continuously take crap shots with new talent. But you see the talent. You see mm-hmm. the work and you acknowledge it. And people know about Coney Island and 11224 Boys. Because of you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you the first one who debuted the music. You didn't have to take it. You could be like, yo, Chambers, just send me your records. Uh, I got to see more. But you took the records out mm-hmm. the gate, and you loved it. You saw it at the Chillin' Bill. You know what I mean? You saw everybody was turned up once, twice. Right. After every event. Yeah, <laughs> every event. Yo, I it remember, makes sense. Like you said, when I was coming up, they used to always use that DJ name to try to get everybody out. Right, right. But he right. never come. Mm. So it's like, damn. Rap was like... Like this shit is like they just trying to make money or profit. Right. That's why I never really I stopped doing shows. I was rapping since way back. Mm. We was doing shows. We was doing shows five times, six times a week. We realized we was making we was somebody trying to else do, rich. Uh, there was a there right. was a website called Athens and shit. They just give you like free shows. All, all you the shows. Sell, you just sell your tickets. We was doing that shit every day, every day. Seeing that shit going nowhere but us spending our money. Right. You know what I mean? And a little time we've been running around with you, it goes up way faster. As you already could tell, like. P- people different. just paying attention. Right, 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 right. Attention. But you said it earlier. If you're from Coney Island, you could rep 11224 Boys. Because I'm sure there's artists that are not even here today, right, that, that will watch this and be like, yeah, but how do I how do I get in? How do I be a part of All the, of the us energy? is reachable. It's not like we, we, we it's somewhere. Not we, we, anybody, you, you, you it's go. the girls, too. Don't forget the right. girls. <laughs> you you gotta get the listen, ladies. Don't forget the girls. You can't they forget the ladies. They, they get the ladies. Want they want girls. these. They, they the and girls. there's ladies that got boss. But at the same time, and, and there's no disrespect, I also spoke about the people I seen working. It's right, not just right, because you from the hood. We want to see work. That, so there is, you got to be putting in work. You got to have some criteria. like, mm. uh, you know, if you're so talented. Br- break it down. If there's a, a artist in Coney Island right now, like, yo, I love what y'all doing. There's no hate. They love 11224 boys. They want to be down. How, how can they tap in? We, we all open ears. First of us, it, it should come to us first. We should be shocked. Mm-hmm. It's not about them bringing it to us. We should be looking for you. And, you know saying, like, and at least fifty percent of them artists recorded in my studio, yeah. so they right. already tapped in. They, they don't even know. Really like we put some of these artists through artist development we without them even knowing. To, we formulating your flows behind the board. Killer telling, I'm just giving them energy and like, yo, you got to flip it up. You got to do it like this. You can't do it like you see everybody else doing it. Give right. some originality too while you in there. Don't just try to follow the wave. And, and, and look how that works. And right from there, you know, radio interviews. You know, I'm the plug for everything in New York City. You see me help a lot of artists mm. who sit in this chair with a lot of clout right now. Like, I'm, I knew, shout out to uh, Chanel, the whole Legion Media Group. I learned a lot of stuff from publicists to use it as an artist. Mm-hmm. The same way like Karen Civil, I'm Amber Ravenel. These are people that you probably, regular artists probably don't even know right. who they are. Behind the scenes people that 
So I know how plays. things supposed to look. I know the value of things, and I know the people that need the, the value. Like it was only a matter of time. Like I'm sitting in the bomb shop, we talking, and he's shooting a video around the corner, mm. and he's like, "Yo, killer shoot a video." Like every time you turn around, low key, I see him in Irving Plaza. I see oh. Car. You know, he yeah, has a story. Right, right, you know, right, he right. came here from from Canada and Nigeria. He was with Tory Lanez. Like he got his own story, and these are things that are just held in in Coney Island. But now with the platform, with the talent, and mm-hmm. we all hunger. New York City needs something new. It needs a whole new movement. And, and it's not like just one artist. We support in all artists. So, you know, that's just what it is. Just like everybody else that's in all five boroughs, it is not just a Brooklyn thing. 11224 boys need to be heard. Everybody know it's just another way of saying Coney Allen. So if you hate Coney Allen, now you're just like, oh, 11224 boys. Like, right. They won't even know. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes Coney Allen be guilty by default. 